right. Hello, everybody. Well, we beat Digimon yesterday, so what does that mean? <laughs> it means a new game. Uh, Fallout New Vegas. Uh, I'm excited to play this one. This has been one of those games that I've had on my t playlist for... Gosh. Years. Um, I could go trudge up and be like, well, uh, when did I actually buy this game? Because I know I've had it sitting in my Steam library forever and ever. I want to say at least five years, if not longer. And that's what me streaming is all about. Well, not all about, but like... Streaming helps me get through a lot of these games where, you know, I just haven't had the time or the devotion to sit down and play these games from start to finish. And I've already gotten through so many games. Like, for example, Digimon Cyber Sleuth. Like, that was a game that I wanted to play through, but just never had the devotion to sit down and finish it from start to finish. And not only did I beat Cyber Sleuth, I did that plus Hacker's Memory. You know, there has been a number of games that I've played that were just like, this is this is something I need to do. So, I am absolutely thrilled that this is going to be what well, we're going to play Monday and Tuesday for the next few weeks. Um, just... Now this is like this is a sandbox game. So like I'm assuming there's going to be the main story that goes from point A to point B. And I'm going to dabble in some side quests along the way, but I'm not going to go out and explore every nook and cranny because I will be playing this game forever if I do. So the my thought process is I'm going to go and play the main storyline. But along the way if I run into some side quests, I'll do them. Or if I see something that interests me that I want to go explore, I'll go do that. But for the most part, it's going to be an A to B type of deal. And I'm going to be playing through the main story with some side quests here and there that I'll be sprinkling in. Um, I'm going to play on normal. Um... I didn't want to play on too hard of a difficulty and then just spend time struggling with, you know, being caught with a death claw or something. Um, but let me know if you guys can hear the music, because if you can, I need to turn it down. I'm assuming this is just a cutscene, and so the music's set, but I made sure to take both the radio and the music and turn those down just to make sure that I don't get copyright striked like I did for um, Bioshock Infinite. Actually, I got hit with all, in all three Bioshocks that I played. So trying not to deal with that nonsense this time. Oh, he did. Good shot, though. I had a shot like that once playing paintball. Managed to snipe someone through a window through... Oh, actually, it was Topaz. But I had a height advantage, and I managed to look down, saw Topaz in a doorway, sniped, shot him through the window and the doorway, and got him. And I was just like, yes! One of my, one of my highlights playing War paintball. never changes. When atomic fire consumed the earth... I had a lot of blows, though, so... so in great underground vaults. When they opened, their inhabitants set out across the ruins of the old world to build new societies, establishing villages. Oh, see, that would be tribes. way more hilarious if it was Khan As from passed, what had King of the Hill. The American Southwest united beneath the flag of the new California Republic, dedicated to old world values. I kind of wouldn't mind seeing that, just a group of people calling themselves the Great Khans, but it's all... As the Republic grew, so did its needs. Scouts just people being absolutely over the top, and in the elitist and ridiculous. Of the Mojave Desert. 
They returned with tales of a city untouched by the warheads that had scorched the rest of the world. Hey, Seth, the how you doing? Spanning the Colorado River. The NCR mobilized its army and sent it east to occupy Hoover Dam and restore it to working condition. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> but across the Colorado, uh. another society had arisen under a different flag. A vast army of slaves forged from the conquest of 86 tribes, <laughs> Caesar's Legion. Four years have passed. All right, there we go. <laughs> Welcome in, Seth. How you doing? The Legion's onslaught. The Legion did not retreat. Across the river, it gathers strength. Campfires burn. Training drums beat. Playing New, all, Vegas New Vegas for the Vegas first that has time. Open for business under the control of its mysterious overseer, Mr. House, and his army of rehabilitated tribals and police robots. I literally, this is the beginning of the game, just you starting. I just booted I the game for the first time to deliver a package 40 minutes ago. Strip. And I spent the first seemed like a simple half hour <laughs> tinkering with settings. For the work. You got what you were after, so pay up. You're crying in the rain, Pally. <laughs> Guess who's waking up over here? Okay. Time to cash out. I heard that New Vegas was with. a really Many good installment in the fall. Oh wait, no, no. I didn't want to skip it. God damn it. Just wanted to turn freaking <sighs> Alright, well let's just pretend. How about that? That uh Whoa, easy there, easy. Who the fuck are you? Not cold a couple of days now. Why don't you just relax a second? Get your bearings. Let's see what the damage is. How about your name? My name? Can you tell me your name? Courier. Yeah, no, I am not courier. What kind of name is that? I eh, just call me Ty. It worked. Oh, that's not how I spell my name. Well, it might be if you only use one hand. I can't say that's what I'd have picked for you, but if that's your name, that's your name. I'm Doc Mitchell. Welcome to Good Springs. Well, hey, Doc. Now, I hope you don't mind, but I had to go rooting around there in your noggin to pull all the bits of lead out. I take pride in my needlework, but you'd better tell me if I left anything out of place. All right, well, um... If we find out How that you, uh, you only have a veteran's... Oh my gosh, look at that double chin. Whew. Alright. I'll be male. Ooh. I, I'm, I'm digging the facial hair on the Hispanic. Oh, I could customize it. Meh. I I'm actually digging how he looks. Yeah. Well, I got most of it right anyway. Stuff that mattered. Okay. No sense keeping you in bed anymore. Let's see if we can get you on your feet. Wow, I have the worst case of vertigo, I guess. Good. Why don't you walk down to the end of the room? Over by that bigger tester machine there. Take it slow now. It ain't a race. All right. Wow. Did I just get really tall, or am I on the bed? Okay. Baby's first steps. You're looking good so far. Go ahead and give the bigger tester a try. We'll learn right quick if you get back all your faculties. Ah, well, that's, that's, uh, whoo, all right, so we're just starting at fives across the board, and I, all right, let's just go ahead and just,
how many points I have to work with here. Let's see here. Yeah, I just never know what to do. I like strength because of inventory weight. Melee, never have to worry about uh, ammo. I normally go, let's, let's, that should be fine. Uh, perception, lock picking. Uh, I like to have a huge health pool because then I can be an idiot. I like to have charisma. Ooh, skill points. That's always good to have. Uh, agility. Let's see here. How does that look? I think I'm going to take a point out of charisma. And throw in intelligence. Oh, Chris, well, Charisma is completely useless in New Vegas. Well, I mean, it's barter, which I'm assuming it will be like a 1% point increase or decrease, depending on whether I'm buying or selling. Um... There's probably like no speech options that I really need to have. Nah, eh, we'll just let's just stick with this. If it ends up being a waste, whatever. I'm only playing on normal, so I, I don't have to worry too much about. Uh, standard score there, but after what you've been through, I'd say that's great news. Well, we know your vitals are good, but that don't mean them bullets didn't leave you nutter in a big horn of drops. Uh, what do you say you take a seat in my couch and we go through a couple of questions? Alright. The dogs are still barking. To jump, push Y. Alright. To grab an object, look at it. Uh, push right stick? Alright. That seems weird. I'm gonna say a word. I want you to say the first thing that Oh, this is not a good exercise. Dog. Cat. Mouse. Mouse. Oh, well. Um Investment works for me. Night. Day. Uh shroud. Bandit. Keep. Swiss cheese, what the hell? Bandit. Um Stab Light Dark Mother Hen <laughs> Human Shield <laughs> <laughs> Um Okay, now I got a few statements. I want you to tell me how much they sound like something you'd say. Okay. First one, conflict just ain't in my nature. 
Uh, conflict is not in my nature. I would strongly agree with that. I'm I ain't not one for conflict. Relying on others for support. Uh, no opinion. I, I I know when to lean and when not to lean. I'm always fixing to be the center of attention. No, no. Uh, disagree. I don't like to have like a bunch of eyes on me, which is part of the reason why I don't have my webcam on because that'll make me kind of nervous. But I feel like. Like, one of the worst things I hated was going on stage and performing in front of a large audience. Just because, like, you didn't want to mess up whatever your part was. Um, but, no, typically I'm an introvert, so, like, I would much rather be with, like, a small group of people I like than to be surrounded with, like, you know, go to, like, a, like a party and have everyone like be like, "Hey, it's Ty!" And then like everyone just like cheering my name like, "Eh, I don't need all that." Just me, few drinks, few friends, playing a game. It's all good. I'm slow to embrace new ideas. Uh strongly disagree. If the idea is good, I I will I'll run with it, but uh, if an idea sucks ass, then <laughs> you got to believe that I am not uh, I not dealing with deal that. With my problems head on. Ooh, that's a good question. Um, depends on the problem. Do I rush to tackle things head on? I mean... Depends on what it is. I, I, I would say no opinion on this because there's times when I really like go like go ham on something and there's other times when I'll just like avoid it like the play because I'll just hope that it gets done by itself. Almost done here. What do you say you have a look at this? Tell me what you see. A Rorschach test. An angry two-headed ant? I can't even see that. Um, oof. You know what I actually see? A beard. I'm going to go with chemical reaction. Okay. How about this one? Um, no. No, well, no, I'm too embarrassed to say what it looks like. What the hell are you thinking? Honestly, the closest thing I can see is the space tech age technology, because if you look closely in the middle, there's like the very dark black there, and there's the, like the little white in the middle. For me, that seems like eyes. And it, what it's happening is like it's like a sp like a beam, beaming a person, and distorting them as they're being beamed. Last one. Um, two sumos high fiving. Now you give me a bearded man, and I don't see the beard. A mushroom cloud. What? No. A head on a pillow. How? A light in the darkness. These answers suck. <laughs> all right, a light in the darkness. I can kind of well, buy that that's one. That's all she wrote. I don't have nothing to compare it to, so maybe you'd better just have a look at the results. See if it all seems right to you. Uh, probably not. Oh, that's a good point, though. What do I take? Ooh, a super sludge sounds like fun. So I will take the, the melee. Uh, sneak is a good skill, but...
What else do you take? What's survival? That is something that kind of sucks, is that it... Uh, I, I don't think I'll be unarmed for too long. Sure. Before I turn you loose, I need one more thing from you. It you better not be an anima. Fill out so I can get a sense of your medical history. What? Just a formality. Ain't like I expect to find you got a family history of getting shot in the head. I mean. Oh. Sure. All right, let's see what we got here. Uh, you have fear gain plus one to special attributes when outside, but suffer minus one when indoors. Oh, I see how, okay. Good natured. Wait. So from minus one to all attributes, any time the weight you're carrying drops below 160? Oof. No thank you. But after 30, you can kiss experience, perks, and skill points goodbye. See, these traits are all so double-edged. Alright. After reading all of them, I still don't know what to pick. Um, I feel like heavy-handed... Since I'm going melee and unarmed, like that's gonna be just more damage overall. I think ends up increasing DPS. Because uh, if I'm supposed to do double damage, but then it comes a time and a half. If I take that half times damage and apply it to all my attacks, that works out better. Because I'm sure as hell I'm not gonna crit as much since I didn't put too many points in. Well, no, I did put some points in perception. Hot blooded. Doo -doo -doo -doo. I feel like early bird would be the way to go for me. That about does it. Come with me, I'll see you out. Paperweight. He 
Here, these are yours. It was all you had on you when you was brought in. I hope you don't mind, but I gave the note a look. I thought it might help me find a next of kin. But it was just something about a platinum chip. Well, if you're heading back out there, you ought to have this. They call it a pip boy. I grew up in one of them vaults they made before the war. Okay. We all got one. Ain't much use to me now, but you might want such a thing after what you've been through. I know what it's like having something taken from you. And put this on, too, so the locals don't pick on you for lacking modesty. Never was much my style, anyway. You should talk to Sunny Smiles before you leave town. She can help you learn to fend for yourself in the desert. She'll likely be at the saloon. Got it. Sunny Smiles at the saloon. I reckon folks at the saloon might be able to help you out, too. And the metal fella, Victor, who pulled you out of your grave. Okay. Anyway, you ever get hurt out there, you come right back. I'll fix you up. Thanks, Doc. Try not to get killed anymore. I don't think I was trying to. Uh, let's see. Hardcore mode. Do I want to do hardcore? I'll receive a special award, though. Oh. <laughs> no. I'm just playing through the game before. Oh, Jesus. It is bright out. Got a fragmented signal on your pit boy. Code of transmission of some sort with a sad, jazzy undercurrent that makes your head hurt. As far as you can tell, it appears to be an invitation to the midnight science fiction feature at the Mojave Drive In. Please arrive early to catch the trailers. Old World Blues mode, your level cap has been raised by five. Your pit boy has received a signal coordinates that lead to the canyon wreckage west of Prim. Following the coordinates of the words Courier 6. Signed Ulysses. Lonesome Road has been loaded. To level cap increased by five. What in the world is happening right now? Why am I getting all these notifications? It's like logging into Facebook and all of a sudden you're just like, oh, hey, look, I have 50 notifications. 30 of them are uh, requesting hearts for Candy Crush. Happy Trails Caravan Company. For one more member for an expedition to Zion Valley. Alright, that's my jump. That's perspective. G okay, the ongoing conflict in the Mojave Wasteland has kicked weapon manufacturers into high gear. All major and minor weapon dealers in the region are rolling in new weapons, ammunition types, and modifications. Head to your nearest participating vendor to peruse the merchandise. Alright. Must be, like, DLC. Oh, no. I don't want to do that. Alright. Attack your target. Change the body part. Change targets. Cancel. I've got a lot of stuff. Ooh, I have a machete? How do I... Uh, let's just save, just because we got through a bunch of stuff. Zero of 1,000 saves used. Well, shit. Let's use the first one, huh, shall we? Your pickup... Your pit boy has picked up a radio broadcast inviting you to the grand opening of the Sierra Madre Casino. Hell yeah! Okay, so apparently my level cap has risen by 20 points, and I have no fucking clue why. Okay. How do I put my 
Yeah, okay, there we go. X. Hey there. Oh, hey there yourself. Oh, those are... Pick banana yucca. Alright. Oh, uh, it's just stealing. I don't want to steal from these good people. I'm not some sort of... This isn't the type of RPG where you just go around people's houses and open up chests and things and take what you need. Mojave Express drop boxes. You can use to deliver items to any Mojave Express drop box that you discovered. Once you find it, a Mojave Express drop box, just activate it. And you'll be able to use the location to send and receive items. Okay. Neat. Oh, dumpster. Alright. I think this be where I go. Howdy. What can Easy Pete do for you? Well, I hope Easy Pete... Well, well why are you called Easy Pete? Was a prospector until I decided to settle here to get away from the NCR. Now, we'll just take it easy and help out with the Brahmin and Bighorners. Oh, that's right. Brahmin are like uh, cattle in this game. Or in this universe. Nah, nah. Means I poked through old buildings looking for working tech and such. Some folks just call it salvaging, but never like the term. Okay. Way I, I see can get by that. Salvage means it's broken, near worthless. Me, I look for the good stuff. Guns, chems, spare parts. Good money in it. The one in the fancy suit seemed to be calling the shots. That's as much as I know. Other folks in town might know more. Okay. Word of advice, though. If you ever catch up with him, watch out. The man's got cold eyes like a snake. Can't be trusted, I'd say. Nope. Had a pretty good claim once, way out east by the river. But got run off by raiders. Eventually got too old to keep going out. Oh, that sucks. Don't get me wrong. The NCR's got a lot of decent folk in it. It's just that they make you part of them whether you like it or not. One of Towns us. like Good Springs and Prim don't stay independent for long. Not if you've got something the NCR wants. Still, the NCR keeps the Legion away. They're slavers, led by a Oof. guy named Caesar. Or Kaisor. Not sure how you speak. Kaisor? A couple of years ago, uh, let's they go tried Caesar. to take over Hoover Dam. But the NCR beat them back. The NCR didn't or couldn't finish the job, though. Okay. The Legion's got its strength back and is getting ready for another round at the dam. My money's still on the NCR winning, but you never know. We've been hearing stories about Legionaries on the Nevada side of the river. So keep a gun handy. You don't want to get caught by them. Hmm, so what you're saying is going melee is a bad idea. Got it. The dam powers a lot of New Vegas. And then there's all that clean water lying in Lake Mead, too. Anybody who owns the dam owns the territory. That makes a lot of sense. Meat and hide, mostly. Can't put a pack on them. They just lay down until you take it off. <laughs> find a bunch of wild ones high up in the hills, but gotta be careful around them. They can put up a decent fight. <gasps> I can fight wild Brahmin? That sounds like fun. The machine? Harmless. No matter what Trudy says. She thinks it's hiding something. But I think it's just a broken down relic with no place to be. Alright, well thanks for the info. Keep your gun handy if you go poking around some of the abandoned places around here. Like the schoolhouse. Critters move in there sometimes. Well, thanks, Easy Pete. You were a delight to talk to. Oh. Cheyenne, stay. Don't worry. She won't bite unless I tell her to. Well, then don't tell her to, please. 
Yeah, I guess there's a thing or two I could show you. Sounds like you need all the help you can get after what they done to you. Well, I got a bolt in the head, so the that's 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 uh, never a good thing. Um, but I want to know more about the doggo. Can I pet the doggo? See the sarsaparilla bottles on the fence there? Take this and try to hit a couple of them. Oh boy. Doing the controller is right not the, the easiest. Start crouching down and staying still. It'll help your aim. Oh, where I got my sights down. Oh. Hits an ass. Nice shot. Well, that's a start. But I don't reckon you came to me to learn to fight sarsaparilla bottles. Tell you what, I gotta go chase geckos away from our water supply anyway. Darn critters are attracted to it. Why don't you come along? All right, follow me. It's just down to the southeast a short ways. Oh my goodness, hello. All weapons fall under a weapon skill category that determines how effective the weapon is. Guns, energy, weapon, blah blah blah. Compare the small icon below to the left of the weapon's icon to this. Really? That's how we do it? Okay. Um, these indicate the base damage and DPS respectively. Weapons with low damage have difficulty penetrating armor. You hit a target's damage threshold, switch to a weapon with a higher damage, or use ammo that reduces the target's damage threshold. Okay. Uh, many weapons have a strength and or skill requirement. If your character does not meet either, it will you will just suck ass. Um, a weapon's condition affects the amount of damage it does. At 75% condition or higher, a weapon does maximum damage and only needs to be maintained. A weapon with low condition will do less damage and may cham when reloaded. Ooh. Okay, repair and mod. Okay. Varmint rifle. See, I'm, I'm trying to run what the geckos are like. Where are we going? I mean, shit, are we going out of town? They couldn't have made this any closer. Um. All right. Hear that up on the ridge behind me there? We got some geckos to clear out. Bunch of little monsters is what they are. Seems like Doc Mitchell treats more gecko bites than anything else. Let's see if we can get a little closer. If we move quietly, we can get the jump on them. More likely to hit something vital that way. Okay. But I'm detected. Oh, I'm detected by her. Okay, you're on. Go give him hell. Oh. 
They're like little murlocs. Nice. Oh, there's only two? Gecko meat. See? You're getting the hang of it. I mean... There's two more wells that still need clearing. If you want, you can come along. It'd be worth a few caps to me. Sure. Shouldn't take more than a couple minutes, especially with two of us. Come with me. It's going to take me a while to get used to the controls in this game because what I expect buttons to be are not be. Come on. them. Is there a way to run faster or do I have one speed on this guy? I mean, I did absolutely nothing, but sure, I'll help myself to the gecko meat and hide. Howdy. Well, where the fuck is Sonny? Oh, it's right there. Now that was some good work. Even got a little exciting there at the end. Here's a little spending. Yeah, it's always more exciting when an innocent person is. Uh, to their Thought life I might is teach on you about living off the land and making useful things for yourself. Interested? Sure. All right then. We'll need a couple ingredients to get started. Gonna want some Xander root and a Brock flower. Okay. Let me think now. I know I've seen Brock flowers growing up at the graveyard, and I seem to remember there being Xander root over by the schoolhouse. Bring those on back to me, and we'll get cooking. Okay. How do I get back to town? Oh, there's uh, arrows. On the, uh, it's weird having the compass in the bottom left. So used to like games having the compass in the top center. Can I change that? Normally I'm pretty good at like mapping out areas in my brain. This not so much. Everything looks the goddamn same. Two enemies on um, my Oh, it's those things.
That was pretty easy. I mean, one experience it really doesn't do shit. Oh. Okay, so that's what the Xander root looks like. I mean, why not go loot the uh, schoolhouse, right? Ooh, jalapeno! Well, that worked out pretty damn well. Something still in here, though. What was that? An Uthaka, uh, Uth Utheka. I don't know what that is. Also, did I really need the coffee mug? Hey, Aka. What's a coffee mug? I was just. My general rule of thumb is if its value is less than. Ooh. If its value is equal to or less than its weight, don't pick it up. What are you talking about? Your your value is way greater than your weight. I would adopt the Akka if I could. Apply torque with the screwdriver, rotate the bobby pin, and force lock. When torque is applied, Is this like Skyrim then? Ooh. Sunset Sarsaparilla. Delicious. All right. It is that is borked. All right, so let's take a look at Okay, damage threshold condition 50% Start to remember how to play this. Box of detergent, don't need that. Baseball glove. Well, 
I don't need a cup. Unless the boys are under attack, but uh, you know what? I don't think I'm reproducing in this... Uh, in this post-apocalyptic world. Alright, that wasn't too bad. Uh, I dislike Y being jump. Alright, where to next? We're going this way. The graveyard, I think, was the other location. Ooh, general store. Oh wow, there's a lot of shit I can do with that. Okay, good to know. But I'm not going to spend time trying to figure that shit out right now. We're just starting. I bet the graveyard's at the top of this hill here. Oh. Nope. All of the nopes. Just watch the replay on, because I have the stream manager open. Oh, okay, well, good to know that's how that works. Hey, Topaz. Float fly, can I attack it? Nope. Nope. This guy first. What? Oh, the shit there. Oh, I can't attack him either? Oh, boy. Oh, uh, just run around and kill him. Uh, there's four, though. I'm a strafe, you motherfucker. Alright. That system is a little clunky, but that's okay. We won. Again, this is why I played on normal instead of hard or very hard, because I would like to actually, you know, take snow globe. I don't want to take a s well. That feels too specific. I feel like these roar. Uh, these rare pre-war artifacts are widely considered to be useless bottles, but rumor has it some collectors will pay dearly for them. Oh, okay. Well, then I'm glad I picked it up. Well, I need a shovel. Can I find a shovel somewhere? Oh, right, I'm supposed to find something, aren't I? I don't need no tin can. Although the fact that they distinguish between a bent tin can and a tin can is kind of enjoyable. Or you may 
venture deeper into the wasteland, you may revise your character. Oh! Well, if I take the trait, I don't need to be lucky. Oh, but it does raise all my skills, and that is kind of nice. Prepare medicine, higher intelligence, more skill points you'll be able to distribute when leveling up. That is kind of sexy. Uh, nope, that's good. And I think I'll still take it early. Well, no. <sighs> Heavy handed for sure. I almost want to take skilled, even though that means I'm going to level up slower. <laughs> Trying to think if that would, how big of a difference that would make. Wild Wasteland unleashes the most bizarre and silly elements of post-apocalyptic America. Not for the faint of heart or the serious of temperament. All right, let's do it. So I've gotten 142 experience points so far. Is there a way to see how many experience points I need to level? Map is always helpful. Yeah, there it is. In stats, 142 out of 200. Alright. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. The fact that I keep saying you take a sip from your trusty vault canteen makes me worry just a little bit that I'm going to have to figure out how to refill that canteen at some point. Ooh, tumbleweed. Yeah, Snoop would approve. 
Although I'm not quite sure this is the type of weed he normally enjoys, but... Alright. Who are you? Any lawman that comes after me won't have it easy. Never gets old when something blows up. Never gets old when okay. something blows up. Okay. Not gonna bother you no more, because I have a feeling you might blow up. I mean, no rads, free heal. All right, I'll take it. Oh, look at you! What do you you make a fire for me? Let me see what you got. Yeah, these will do just fine, just fine. All right, now we're gonna be making something folks on the trail call healing powder. Go on over to that campfire now. Give it a try. Activate campfire. All right. That's not bad, see? All it takes to make a recipe is the right ingredients and the right know-how. Sometimes it won't be a campfire you need. Might need to do some work on your guns and ammo, maybe. Important thing to get is it's all the same idea. You just need to find the right place to set up shop. Workbench or reloading bench, whatever. Okay. Well, I hope that's enough to get you started. I'm heading back now. Hope I didn't miss anything good on the jukebox. Cheyenne would never forgive me. Hey, do me a favor. Trudy, she's the bartender up at the Prospector. Kind of the town mom. She likes to meet newcomers. Okay. She'd be cross with me if I didn't ask you to poke your head in and say hi. Well, then I will pay her a visit. But I will get there before you, because you apparently only know how to walk. Oh, look, I can move backwards and still go faster than you. Damn it. I was like, what the fuck are these? Oh, th right, those are the dead, uh... Geckos. There we go. I'm learning. I'll get the hang of this shit eventually. I mean, I haven't died yet, right? Uh, you see something shiny in the ground that's just nothing more than a bent tin can. Fantasy Star has corrupted me. Pick buffalo gourd. Okay. What's a buffalo gourd? Is it a buffalo? Is it a gourd? Is it a buffalo shaped gourd or is it a gourd shaped buffalo? <laughs> I still remember there were so many times we were playing Fantasy Star and a rare item would drop. And it felt like everything was moving in slow motion as we all, like, bumbled over one another to try and be the first to pick it up. I'm done being nice. If you don't hand Ringo over soon, I'm going to get my friends and we're burning this town to the ground. Uh, you, you want me to kill him? Keep that in mind. Now, I'll kill him. Buy something, get out. What the hell is your problem? Well, he ran like a bitch. Hey, Trudy. Want to fill me well, in? Well, you've been causing quite a stir. Glad I finally got to meet you. Welcome to the Prospector Saloon. Well, thank you. You show me what you got for I'm sale. I'm sure I've got something you like. Let's start with the shit I don't need. Oh, 
Although now that I think about it, just about everything has purpose in this game, doesn't it? I don't need an empty sarsaparilla bottle. A paint gun? Don't need that. A straight razor? Why don't I get tribal raiding armor? You know what? Just not gonna ask. Alright. Pleasure doing business with you. Oh. Looks like our little town got itself dragged in the middle of something we don't want anything to do with. All right, About well. a week ago, this trader, Ringo, comes into town. Survivor of an attack, he says. Bad men after him. Needs a place to hide. We figured he was just in shock, so we gave him a place to lie low. We didn't actually expect anyone to come after him. He's holed up at the abandoned gas station up the hill. You mean murder him? That's not our way, even if Cobb is scum. He can bluster and threaten all he wants. Some of the others, like Sonny, will probably stand up for Ringo if he asks for help, which he hasn't. Personally, I hope he sneaks out of town one night and takes the powder gangers with him. Chang gangs, really. The NCR brought them in from California to work on the rail lines. Problem is, it turns out that giving convicts a bunch of dynamite and blasting powder isn't the best idea. No! It was a big escape not too long ago. Some of them stuck together so they could make trouble. That's what we're dealing with now. Great. Uh, if you were able to get Ringo out of this mess, you'd have a decent reputation around Good Springs. I'd even set you up with a discount. Done. Of course, helping Ringo would also make the powder gangers mad. And they've got a lot of friends out there. Don't know why you'd want to do a thing like that. Yep, you'd get on their good side, but people around here wouldn't appreciate it one bit. What? Imagine ha things having consequences. He's a convict, just without the chains. Said his name was Cobb. Powder gang. Not much, other than they're a bunch of freeloaders who expected a few rounds on the house. I was able to get them to pay up, though. Of course, one of the great cons did knock my radio to the floor by accident, and it hasn't been working since. They were having some kind of argument about it, but the guy in the checkered coat kept shushing them. Sounded like they came in from the north through Quarry Junction. If that's the case, I can't say I blame them for not wanting to go back. Okay. That whole area is overrun with the kind of critters that just get mad if you shoot them. Well... Merchants avoid that whole stretch of I-15 like it's radioactive, which it could be for In all, all fairness, I, I think most things don't like being shot at. I didn't hear exactly, but the leader was talking about the strip. Fellow wants to get there and avoid the 15, he'd have to go east. Take Highway 93 up. Sure, the outside looks okay, but I think something broke on the inside. There'd be caps in it for you. I do like to hear what's going on in the world. And that Mr. New Vegas seems like such a gentleman. I know that thing as much as anyone else around here. It mostly keeps to itself, which is just fine by me. Other than rolling around once in a while, it doesn't do anything useful as far as I can tell. Okay. I don't know why it took an interest in you, but I'd be careful. It's never helped anyone before. It acts friendly enough, but I don't trust that whole cheerful cowboy act. I find it all very creepy. Okay. It was here when I took over the saloon seven years ago. Some people have said its owner lived here, but no one knows who it was. Mostly traders looking to buy bighorn or meat and hides. The traders are the main reason the general store manages to stay in business. Most travelers heading south on the I-15 just push on towards Prim. 
unless they're in desperate need of supplies. There's always something interesting going on. But the biggest news has to be the coming dust up between the NCR and the Legion over the yeah, dam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The new California Republic's got the most power in Nevada. Money, troops, you name it. They do what they can to keep things safe in the region. But if you ask me, they're trying to do too much. They're spread too thin. I'm pretty sure the NCR wants to hold on to the dam because it's one of the few places around that can make electricity. The Legion are a bunch of savages, though. No idea why they'd want the dam. Probably plan on destroying it or something. Slavers, killers, and all other... The rumor is, is that the Legion is far larger than the NCR lets on. And that it's been due to luck that the Legion hasn't overrun... All right. Be careful out there. So I have a note about the radio. Pair of 20 or greater. And what is my skill? Uh, 19. Of course. Just in case. Oh. Well, never mind then. Quest. Yeah, let's do that. What are you? A vending machine. So I need to go inside the gas station here. That's close enough. Who are you? And what do you want with me? If you're gonna shoot, you better not miss. Sorry about the gun. You just caught me off guard, that's all. We got off to a bad start. Let's say we start over with a friendly game of caravan. Ooh. You know how to play? No, but I'd like to learn. What are the rules? It's a two-player game, and the winner takes the whole pie. You build a caravan using the cards in your deck. Okay. The goal is to create caravan bids that beat your opponent's bids. So there's more strategy than luck involved. Go on. It's why you won't see caravan in any casino. Too slow paced. And more importantly, no house edge. Here, take this holotape. It goes into more specifics about the rules. You'll also need a deck, so take one of my spares. So, you feel like playing a game? Just keep an eye out for him while you travel. I've found cards in old boxes or forgotten on shelves. Can find some for sale, too. Don't worry. I'm not that good of a player. All right. We need to learn how to play. Oh, th at least 30 cards or more. Deck may have any number of cards of any type that suits a player's strategy. Uh, whoops. Although they cannot have duplicate cards from the same set. For example, a King of Spades fr from set A and a King of Spades from set B deck is acceptable. <laughs> Two players building three opposing piles number of cards. The goal is to outbid your opponent's caravan with the highest value of the numbered cards without being too light. 
or overburdened. The game begins with each player taking eight cards from their deck and placing either one numerical card or ace on each ca caravan. Players may not discard during this initial round. Once players have th started their three caravans, each player may do one of the f following. Play a card and draw a new card. Discard one card and draw a new card. Discard one of the three caravans by removing all cards from that pile. Caravans have a direction, either ascending or descending numerically, and a suit. The suit is determined with the first card placed on a caravan. The direction by the second. All subsequent cards must continue the numerical direction or match the suit of the previous card. Cards of the same numerical value cannot be played in sequence, regardless of suit. Face cards can be attached to numeric cards in any caravan and affect them in various ways. Joker. Played against Ace 2 through 10. Effects change based on whether it's an Ace or a number card. Multiple jokers may be played on the same card. Ace is a value of one. Hey, Vigar. Oh, Vigar, by the way, um, I beat uh, Nightmare King Grim. Took me about. When I sat down Saturday night, it took me about 90 minutes to beat him. There was a lot of swearing and cussing, though. Ace of Spades removes all spades. Oh, nice! Two of them listed values. Joker's plan is cards remove all the cards from this value from the table. Joker plan on four of hearts removes all fours. Joker played against Ace. Or Jack played it, removes that card along with any face cards attached to it. Play against the ace, reverse the current direction of the hand, and change the current suit of the hand. That king basically doubles it. Okay. Player's caravan considers sold when the value of its cards is over 20 and under 27. The other players may still up bid by increasing the value of their opposing pile while staying within the 21 to 26 range. When each of the three competing caravans has sold, the game is over. In the event that one of the three caravans are tied between players, the game continues until all three caravans have sold. The player with two or more sales wins the pot. Alright. What is it? Sure. Yeah, absolutely, Viger. Um, can you send it to me in a DM? Two King of Diamonds. All right. 
Thank you. All right, give me one sec, folks, because I want to check out this uh, artwork. Oh, and you even have the little, uh, I forget what they're called, they're the lava seeds. The light seeds, yes. I like it. to double check. Eh, that's okay. Okay, am I just not understanding how this works, or...? No, I didn't, Akka. Why can't I play the Six of Diamonds? I don't get why I can't do stuff. I saw it was gambling, thought I would try my hand at it. And it appears to be more complicated than I realize. I don't understand why I can't play some of these cards. doesn't make a damn lick of sense why I can't play these cards. I don't get it. Like, I'm about to lose and I have no idea why I... Get this is bullshit. Like, one more card and he wins. And I can't get anything on the board other than... There's just... What is it? Alright, well... That was... Del... Alright. Let's look at those instructions one more friggin' time.
goal is to outbid your opponent's caravan with the highest value of numbered cards without being blah blah blah. The game begins with each player taking eight cards from their deck and placing Alright. Once both players have started their three caravans, what each player might do one of the following. Play one card and draw a new card from his or her deck to their hand. Discard a card or disband. Caravans have a direction. Either ascending or descending numerically and a suit. The suit is determined with the first card placed on a caravan. All direction the direction is by the second card. All subsequent cards must continue the numerical direction or match the suit of the previous card. Cards of the same numerical value cannot be played in sequence regardless of suit. Face cards can be attached to numeric cards in any caravan and affect them in various ways. But I couldn't even play a second card on some of my piles. Like, I know the Queen and, like, the Joker, like, those were basically wild cards that I could play on whatever. <sighs> Alright, I'm going to try it once more, it? and if I can't win, then I'm never playing this shit ass game again no. what is it I'll play another game for 10 caps you know I'll just Randomize the car caravan deck. So why could they play a nine on their seven of diamonds? All right, queen is supposed to reverse it, right? I don't get it. All right, let's put a three there. Why? Why? I don't get it. Why can't I play any of these cards?
Blockhead. I'm done. What is it? All right. Did you know there's a man named Joe Cobb looking for your stupid ass? Yeah. He doesn't look very tough, though. I hear he's afraid I'll shoot him down from one of the windows when I see him. And he's right. I'll have a much bigger problem once his friends show up. There's no way I could handle all of them in a gunfight. I'm gonna lay low for as long as I can, assuming the town doesn't throw me to the wolves. I've got no chance against the gang on my own. We'd just end up sharing the same grave if it's just the two of us. Now, if some of the other people in town were also on board... I was thinking of myself, actually. Who's gonna watch my back while I'm watching yours? Uh... Start with Sunny Smiles. She's been friendlier than most around here. Okay. Turpentine. This point. Ooh. Nope, didn't want that. I wanted the whiskey. Ooh, a fission battery. That sounds handy. I don't know what any of this stuff is for. I'll figure that out eventually. You know, with that caravan game, I'm more inclined to think that it's bugged than anything because I cannot, based on the way he's playing his cards, I don't think there's really... I, I shouldn't have not been able to play a second card on those stacks. Like, if I played a 10, I should have been able to play whatever card next. And then after that, I either have to play based on the suit or based on the previous two cards. So if it's 9-6, I can play a card less than 6. Or I can play a card of the same suit as the 6. Like, to me, that's just how the... I feel like that's how the game's supposed to work. And hi, doggo. Hi there. Sticking around Good Springs for a while longer? Say no more. I'm in. Just like that. I have a feeling that I'm going to end up fighting those guys one way or another. So I might as well get it over with. Joe Cobb talks about leaving us alone if we hand over Ringo. But I know his type. He and his friends will come after the town eventually. However, between you, me, and Ringo, we aren't exactly a force to be reckoned with. A lot of people around here look up to Trudy. If you could convince Trudy to join us, some of the folks in town might decide to help out as well. I know okay. see Pete's got a stock of dynamite somewhere, and Chet just got a shipment of leather armor we could borrow. Talk to them as well. Finally, there's a good chance we'll all end up with extra holes in us. So if Doc Mitchell could cough up some extra stim packs, that'd be great. So basically, go meet the town. Okay. A silver tongue would help. Convincing Trudy that we had a good plan to win the fight would also help. All right. I don't think give is in Chet's vocabulary. Even with the town at stake, he'd still make you buy. Oh, and everything's just behind a skill check. Easy Pete's pretty protective of his dynamite. You'd have to convince him you know a thing or two about explosives before he handed it over. Not in Good Springs, no. But if you're up for a little scavenging, there's always the schoolhouse. I Most did of what's that. in there is junk, but 
There's this old safe that even Easy Pete wasn't able to crack with dynamite. If you want to take a shot at it, take these. Oh, I already did that. Oh. Well, go ahead and keep the stuff I gave you anyway. It'll be more useful to you than me. I'll be waiting. All right, let's see how this goes. So you're planning on taking on Joe Cobb's gang? Hey, level risk, up! But whoop, whoop. I suppose you have to do what you think is right. That does sound like a good plan. All right, you seem to know what you're doing, so you can count me in. Let me have a word with a few other folks, and I'll see if I can't round up some more members for this militia you're creating. While everyone does own a gun, we could stand to be a little better equipped. The general store probably has what we need in stock. Okay. Be careful out there. Uh, we need one more point. Oh, I got 14 skill points? Hell yeah. I want to get speech up. Science. 25 seems to be an operative number here. Let's see, what do we want? You can put a single point in any one of your special attributes. Uh, yes, please. In combat, you can do 10% damage against male opponents. You'll sometimes have access to unique dialogue options when dealing with the same sex. Ooh. Oh, and then Lady Killer being the opposite. With each rank in the Swift Learner perk, you gain an additional 10% to total experience whenever experience points are earned. I mean, do you not just take Swift Learner? Because that just pays out in the long run. Oh my goodness, there is a lot of skill points. Thought you died. Hilarious. Um... Yeah, let's just take Swift Learner for now. That that's the that's the long game bet. Really? All right, Pete's right here. Howdy. Bad trouble. Yeah. Welcome. Man, a few words, I see. Too dangerous. Want to kill all yourselves if I let you touch it. Better to leave it buried. Safer that way. Yeah, I yep. figured I needed 25 in explosives, but I'm not going to put 25... Yep. not going to put 14 points in explosives just so I can do that.
You must be the one Doc Mitchell was patching up. The way I heard it, I didn't think you'd be walking out of that office. I've got plenty of supplies for sale. Even got some weapon mods and special ammo. Well worth the caps if you ask me. If you're hurting for caps, I've also got boxes of surplus ammo in the miscellaneous section. They're not great, but you get what you pay for. Okay. Now just hold on. I never voted to take on the powder gangers. That's a thousand cap investment you're talking about. Well, damn. Right. Just keep me out of it. Is there anything else? Can do. Ooh, shovel. Thanks. It's all about quantity over quality. Trouble is, you'll be cleaning and fixing your gun a lot more than usual when you use oh, those kind of yeah, bullets. Oh, yeah, I don't want to jam the gun. That's that's not what I want to do. If Ringo doesn't head out on his own, I think we should hand him over. The town shouldn't get itself mixed into the problem. Well, don't mistake that for coward talk, though. Yeah, no, that's coward talk, survivors. though. We'll fight tooth and nail if pushed, but we don't go looking for trouble. The leader was a new Vegas type. Typical city boy. He had a bunch of great cons with him, probably hired guns. The great cons normally stay in their own territory way up northwest, on account of them being enemies with the NCR. They're tough sons of bitches. Mean, but not crazy. They'll leave you alone unless you got something they want. The great cons deal in illegal chems. Oh, good. There's a good chance that most chems you come across were made by great cons. Take it easy now. All right. Well, that's those two failed. I need to go find Doc, though. Uh, what? Was this? building I came out of? It feels like it. Nope, 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 nope. Yeah, Doc. Welcome back. I had hoped you wouldn't need to come see me again so soon. What can I do for you? Seems like wherever I go, it's always the same. Folks just never yeah. leave each other alone. So you in? Oh, I'm not much good in a fight with my bum leg. And my supplies are scarce. But I'll give you what I can spare. Thanks, Doc. You're the best. That'd be Victor. Curious fella. He's sort of odd. And I don't just mean because he's a robot. I couldn't tell you much about him. He's real friendly. Don't get me wrong. Just get the sense that that ain't the whole picture. Uh, just a feeling. He keeps to himself, mostly. You want to know more about him, you'll have to ask him yourself. He has a shack on the southern edge of town. I'm gonna go check that out. You take care now. Yep, thanks, Doc. Alright, south. Well, if it's a rubit. Is that a Brahmin? Oh, young Bighorner. Oh, you, uh. You've seen better days. Howdy, partner! Might I say you're looking fit as a fiddle? All right, let's uh, let's start with. Do you know who this man? Can't say that I'm familiar with the rascals. Some of the fine folks in town might be able to help you out with that. Okay. Don't mention it. I'm always ready to lend a helping hand to a stranger in need. I was out for a stroll that night when I heard the commotion up at the old bone orchard. 
saw what looked like a bunch of bad eggs, so I laid low. Once they'd run off, I dug you up to see if you were still kicking. Turns out you were. So I hauled you off to the dock right quick. I moseyed into town, old Ken, 15 years ago. Before that, I... Um, I can't quite seem to recall. Odd. Anyway, it's a right peaceful town, and I reckon it's as fine a place to settle as in. I wonder if that expression on, on the screen changes. I'm a Securitron. Rob Co. Security Model 26 to be. If you ever see any of my brothers, tell them Victor says howdy. Trouble with rustlers, huh? Count me in, partner. Those varmints will be running home with their tails between their legs soon enough. Happy trails! Alright, well he seems cool enough. Alright, let's rest for like what? Hello, I guess it's 6 a.m. So we talked to the four people, two of them were able to help, two of them I can't because I don't have bartering or explosives. I suppose a skill book would help all the same. Um, I have multiple markers on my map, and now I'm confused, but I'm assuming I need to head back to the gas station. So what's going on? Did Sonny agree to help us? Well, I guess that means we're ready to go. Unless you think there's something else you can do. All right, I'm ready. I hope. Time to look alive. The Powder Gangers are here to play. At least six. Joe Cobb included. They look pretty mean. Six, let's do it. I'll be set up near the store. Let's hope that the gang doesn't manage to make it that far. I will go in running with my machete. Zero percent. There we go. That's better. Oops. You have established a reputation with a group of people in the wasteland. Whether that reputation is good or bad, you're finally somebody. And people associated with that group will start to react to what you've done. There are many different factions in the wasteland. You can develop a distinct reputation with each one. As you perform actions that benefit a group, you'll gain fame. If you perform actions that harm a group, you'll gain infamy. Your reputation with any group, given group is a measure of combined total fame of infamy you have earned. The benefits and drawbacks of any given reputation depend on the group itself. 
may receive discounts with merchants, provoke attacks from hired thugs, or simply be treated differently. For your overwhelming monstrous behavior, you've become vilified by the community. Well... Alright. Six total. Ooh, a cowboy hat. Well, we are putting that on. Ringo died. Oh, shit. Hmm, perhaps I should try that again. I died that time. Whoopsie poodle. Hmm. Perhaps. Could have done that better. Don't want it. Oh, come on, really? You're done, son. You're done. Yeah, I disarmed him all right. Just hope Ringo managed to survive this time. Howdy. The hell? All right. 
or all right well I guess that's the one two three four five I don't know where number six is that ought to keep things settled for a while hope it stays that way yay keep your gun handy if you go poking around Wasteland Cri Hey Doc. Um y y can you fix me up? How are you holding up? Eh. You don't look like nothing too serious. Let me patch you up. Thanks, Doc. Oh shit. I don't have that kind of cap yourself. Damn it. You take care now. Well, I suppose off well, actually. Ooh. I owe you a huge favor for this. Here, these are technically Crimson Caravan funds, but I know they'll understand once I explain things. Um, so he wasn't a part of the fight because he got stuck on this fence. And that's where he spent the entire fight, was at this fence. Well, that explains why he didn't die. I'll stick around for a bit longer, but I'll be gone in a few days. If you ever visit New Vegas, look me up at the Crimson Caravan Camp. All right. So what am I wearing currently? Melee weapon plus two, speech plus two. Meh. I'll wear a cowboy hat. Lightweight leather armor. I'll sell that. Ooh. Agility minus one. It's pretty good condition, though. If I want to be mailing, I'll need the armor. The D, uh, I'll need that, though. I'll hang on to the jumpsuit just in case. Hey, chat. That was a hell of a fight. Let's hope it doesn't bite us in the ass later on. Do. All right, what we got that we don't need here? Yeah, no, the machete is way better. Uh, the cleaver is terrible. Do I really need dynamite? I'm not going to use the dynamite. I got two shotguns. I don't need the varmint rifles. Or these throwing spears. I don't think I repeat any ammo types. Apparel, let's 
I'll keep that. Pre-war baseball cap. I'll leave the aid alone. Another satisfied customer. Yeah, buddy, because I got money now. Take it easy now. All right, we'll do. All right, let's go have... I mean, I could go just to the water fountain that well and just drink from that S be slow as balls it would take me what a hundred uh, math just my brain just stopped working it take me 80 interactions how are you holding up Oh. Yay, we're fixed. Although I'd love to get my caps back from Ringo. Fucking caravan bullshit. Alright. Let's take a look at the Pip Boy and see what other quests we have in this area. Oh, I did, I did put that point in repair so I can go fix the radio at the saloon. Side entrance. Excuse me. I didn't put the point into repair. Oh, somebody come kick my ass. Hey. All right. Well, You know, I can't do illegal acts if you're gonna stand right there, you dipshit. Way too many strangers coming into town these days. No offense. Yeah, so skadoodle. Skadoodle. Bye. Don't pay any attention to me. Some terminals are protected. It can't be accessed without a password. If your science skill is high enough, you can attempt to hack the terminal. Selecting the correct passer password will grant you access. If you guess incorrect, it will be shown how many letters match the correct password and in the correct location. So it's like Mastermind, then. You have four tries to guess correctly. If you fail, the terminal will be remain inaccessible until you own the password. You can exit hacking at any time and try again. However, exiting the terminal will force its security to reset, delaying your ability to start hacking again.
Oh, well. That was pretty fortuitous. Nothing in here that I really want. So, not really worth my time. Howdy. That'll teach the powder gangs to avoid good springs in the future. Uh. Sure, what do you want to know? Southeast of here is Prim. Can't miss it. Since it has the giant old roller coaster right in the middle of town. Okay. The NCR's got an outpost there. If you follow the road north, you'll eventually hit Sloan and Quarry Junction. They mine rocks or something, but I heard they got troubles lately. I wouldn't head that direction if I were you, though. Got critters up there that don't take kindly to getting shot. Around here, mostly coyotes and geckos. The coyotes are pretty dangerous in large packs, but otherwise they're nothing to really worry about. Okay. The geckos aren't too tough, but they've got a nasty bite. I've heard about bigger, nastier versions out in the wasteland, but I've never seen them. Stick Good to the roads to when you can, and steer clear of the hills north of Good Springs. The critters up there are big and poisonous. The New California Republic. Bunch of settlers and soldiers coming in from the west, fixing on making Nevada their own. They can be right pushy, but the roads are safer because of them, so I tend to let it go. Not that I got a choice. Well, the wildlife for one thing. Roddy locals for another. They're protecting their own. Just happens to help us. They've been holding off this other group from the east, too. If you want. Alright. I think, uh. I hunt geckos mostly. The meat's pretty good, and I can always find a buyer for the hides. I also help keep the town clear of rad scorpions and coyotes. Not many people live in good springs, so wildlife is always creeping in. Okay. Until next time. Quests. So. So that wants me to go to Prim. Okay, so the map's not too big. Good Spring Source, Good Spring Cemetery. So let's go to Sloan then. Here we go. On the road again. I don't need to find that road again. But if this was Star Wars, I'd be looking for that road again.
Coyote. Problem solved. Something else is out there. Two something else's. Bye bye. Ooh. <laughs> He's like, what? <laughs> Yanksy Memorial. Oh, shit. Not what I wanted to see. I mean, it's a point of interest, but I don't seem to see anything noteworthy. I mean, the hollowed out rock was like, okay. But even then, there was nothing there. Warning, death claws ahead. Wait, are you serious right now? I'm level fucking two. Oh, that's a giant rad scorpion. Uh oh. We are gonna be in some trouble. Eep. So yeah, no, this 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 was not one of my better ideas. Ow. Fuck. Oh, it I did like no damage there. Can I not be killed? Nope. I dead. Damn. All right. Well, ah, dicks. Ah, I knew I should have saved, but that's okay. Character's ass doesn't look that bad. Hell yeah. Say cheese! Alright. 
Well, let's at least rediscover this monument. But damn, I was not expecting a giant rad scorpion just to come over and be like, I'm gonna fuck your day up. <laughs> Give this rock another try while I beat up this rad scorpion. Yeah, even the rad scorpion takes me four hits to kill. These decapitations are a little gruesome. <laughs> and see, and this is why you put in the agility, so you get those lovely... Uh, AP points, because then you can just do this. And things just crash tinkle. Whoa, the devil's gullet. What have we here? Are those mines? No, those are cans. I'll take it. I mean, all right, kind of, it's like cool and uninspiring at the same time. Because you're like, oh, hey, cool, it's the gulch. And then it's like, nothing in it. Oh, wait. Save. Alright, where am I at? I'm right here. Alright, what do I got for quests? I gotta pick one of these quests and... Alright, we're gonna head that way. Holy crap, look at all the red on there. Is that just a bunch of coyotes? No nibbles for you. Ooh. It's like the ambient noise. Almost sounds like um, like rattlesnake. I'm just kind of anticipating like a rattlesnake just coming out of nowhere and just being like, "Ah, I got you, sucker! Now you're poisoned." What 
what's ahead of me? Oh. Damn, 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 damn. Oh, you took time to reload. How sad for you. <laughs> Hilarious. Still slightly anticipating stepping on a landmine of some sort. Aha! What do I even take? Oh, I actually lose karma for that. Well, shit. Can I see how much karma I have? So, oh, that's well. Oh, nope, don't want to be in that. Actually, before I get too far, now that I have the repair skill I need, let's go fix that radio and then we can be done with. Goodfellas, or whatever the town's called. Crap, wait, 
I can fast travel, duh. Good spring. I'm glad that business is over. I like it when Good Springs is nice and quiet. Yeah, I heard it turn right back on after you got done tinkering with it. Here's some caps for the work. Yay! Not at all. I'm never sure how much is normally charged for this sort of thing. Here's some additional caps. That should be enough. Now, how about spending some of those caps in the saloon? Sure. Got a special discount for you after what you've done for us. Oh, well, I appreciated that. Pleasure doing business with you. All right. Bye. Be careful out there. All right. Now that that's done. Hi. Uh, it's something I want to check though. Um. Built a rope built a robot bent on destruction. I love it. Kill anything. Oh, just complete five quests. Got it. All right, back to quests. Story Good Springs. Hey. Yeah. You just saying hey? Ah. Body's still there.
got about an hour left of playing that I can do for today. Uh, unfortunately, uh, I do have to work right at the end of stream. So I can't play late. So I got, do need to find like, a good stopping point uh, at some point. There we go, all better. Alright. I'll pause here. I'm going to save. And then uh, I'm going to run a quick ad break while I go to the bathroom. Be right back. Thank you for being patient. Uh, my number one turned into a number three. So, eh. <laughs> 